Hey guys, Rick from Lithid Off Road here with a quick tip today. You can tell what that is, huh? A little blood spot right there. Yeah, another one. Doopy 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 doo. <laughs> I was out there cutting some firewood with a machete without my gloves on. And I cut my finger. Doop -a doop boom boom. <laughs> got my finger cut. So the tip today is that if you have a first if you have a brand new first aid kit that you haven't used before go through and separate all the little bandages because all these were attached to each other in a long strip and they were in a baggie I mean keeping the keeping them in the baggie is alright because it keeps them organized and together but while I had my finger under the water faucet trying to keep it clean I was left to with one hand trying to fish out the band-aids from let's see get this separated a little bit so here's the larger ones here's a bunch of small ones those are all those size here's some little tiny ones so I had my hand underneath the sink keeping it clean washing it off so I had to get oh there's some more yummy so um I had this first aid kit hanging right above the my utility sink so I had to get the first aid kit off the wall which was fine you can do that with one hand easy enough but the first problem arose when I didn't have see here's the faucet I had my hand under here washing it with the finger first aid kit was hanging there pulled it off and I don't have really anywhere to set it for one so I ended up propping it up on the corner there, hoping that I wouldn't accidentally knock the whole thing over and make a big mess. So that was the first issue, not having anywhere to put the first aid kit while I opened it and went through it. Then once I got it open, I had to sort through all these little bags. I had to sort through all these bags to find the bandages. Once I found the bandages, which was in this baggie, I had to open it, which is easy enough. I mean. With these little Ziploc bags, you can just squeeze it like that and open it up. But once I put out the bandages, I got this long ribbon of things. So I had to, <laughs> using, using one hand in my mouth, I had to separate the bandage from the others while I was washing my finger. Because I didn't want to get you know blood all over my first aid kit while I was messing around with it. So I had my finger under the faucet washing it off with my uh, free hand. I was pulling the bandages out of the bag, separating it from the the long ribbon of other bandages. And then I had, to, of course, you know, to open up the bandage itself and take off the wrapper and all that stuff until I could get it to wrap around my finger. So basically, my tip today is if you have a brand new first aid kit, to go through ahead of time and separate the bandages so that you can open the bag kind of sift through the band sift through what you want to get and pull out maybe you know one or two bandages and then work that way save a little bit of time make it a little bit easier so that's what I'm doing right now I'm going through what's left there's a bag of it says instruments on it you got some little fingerboards a little pair of scissors in there uh, looks like a cold compress some instructions and whatnot. So this stuff is already pretty individualized. I'll leave that alone. But then we have our baggie of alcohol wipes, and these are all attached to each other. I'm gonna go through and separate these. We got antiseptic wipes and alcohol pads. I'm gonna go through and separate those, and cut this bag here. It says wound treatment on it. It's got some tape and some gauze, some little pads, not pads, but on. yes, got some pads in there with some q-tips but what I find so far what I find most useful in a first aid kit are of course the bandages the quick ones that you can wrap around real quick to try to lessen the bleeding and then I always break out the tape I didn't see that tape earlier so that one's still in there I ended up going to a different first aid kit that I have here in the shop and using the tape in there because I know where that tape is I've used it before and also I put extra tape in that particular first aid kit. So 
if I had looked through this one longer, I would have found that tape, which again is in a bag, and that was on the bottom, so it would have taken me a while to actually get that out and start using it. And then of course you have to, that tape doesn't really tear very easy with one hand, so I'd have to get the scissors out and whatnot. So a quick recommendation for my own personal use would be to have the bandages readily available with the tape and the scissors in one relative place so that you can get to those quickly and easily and then after you basically after you stop the initial bleeding then you can go in and start messing around with some of this other stuff to make it a, a better a better to me um, I don't know what the word a better bandage basically so what I've got now I've got one band-aid wrapped around my finger where I cut myself. I wrapped some tape around it to put some pressure on it. Stop, stop the bleeding for the most part. I'll leave that on for oh, a little while before I replace it with a, a clean one. And there you have it. So separate your band-aids so they're easy to get to. You don't have to fiddle around as much. Find the stuff that you're most likely to use in a situation which as for me it's you know some band-aids and some tape maybe maybe some gauze. I don't really use gauze that much I just use a couple of band-aids wrap up the the wound and then cover it with the tape that's just me you can do it however you want to but anyway just a short video I thought I would do while I was addressing my situation the wife's gonna be pissed when she finds out I cut myself <laughs> so, <laughs> Anyway, short video. This is Rick from Lift It Off Road. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Wear your gloves <laughs> when you're doing stuff. And preferably keep your, your, your non-working hand out of the way of the machete when you're cutting firewood. <laughs> so, Rick from Lift It Off Road, a.k.a. TheLiftedLife.com. Go check out my blog at the LFTDLife.com. LF, the the lftdlife.com check out my other videos at lifted off road and have fun take it easy and stay lifted out